Hey, Mrs. Blubbersworth, you think it's burger time? <laughs> Silly question. Mrs. Blubbersworth always thinks it's burger time, don't ya? Four mini arcades, all of them have been sent to me by the folks over at Super Impulse. And I will, of course, be covering all four of them, but not right now. No, no, no. I'm going to do them one at a time so they each get the treatment they deserve. So let's start with burger time. For those of you who haven't guessed, this is the front of the box. Front of the box, hero mode activated. Awesome. Burger time. Tiny Arcade. And as always, please do not feed it to the babies. And here's the back of the box with this little pull tab. Let's pull it and see what happens. But yes, the Tiny Arcade has come to life. Sweet. Let's unbox it. <laughs> Oops, roughed it up a little bit. That was unintentional. And, as always, we will real quickly whip through all the Super Impulse stuff that's available. Look at all those tiny arcades. I actually have them all now, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. And let's flip it. Not upside down like I almost did. And that Atari keychain looks pretty interesting, doesn't it? I like the barrel of monkeys too. Pretty neat. There we go. Now we'll bring up the manual. It's printed on one side, it's very basic, it's common across the board. It usually does not exp holding it upside down. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. It's uh, pretty basic, doesn't really explain real gameplay, but it does show you how to put batteries in it, which I guess is pretty important. The back's blank, by the way. Nothing there. Now, let's look at the arcade machine itself. And here's the front of the Burger Time arcade machine. Looks pretty nice. Uh, this one, the decal application is almost completely perfect, if not perfect. Here's the right side. As always, I will post a picture of the original arcade machine right there. I'm gonna flip around to the left side. Looks the same. Good decal application. It's a little bit off right there, but it's not bad. This is back to that kind of semi-gloss. It's not as glossy as some of the early ones. Looking at the back here, on-off switch, battery cover with a screw, and of course, the keychain, which is made out of metal and not cheap plastic. Thanks guys for doing that. Um, as always, I'm going to say that these are really good for hanging off of a backpack or purse or whatever, but I don't know that I would actually hang them off of keys because it's probably going to scratch it up. This is pretty thick. I haven't had any get scratched up. But then again, I don't hang them off my keychain either. There's the top. Same plastic. And the bottom with the speaker. Let's take a look at it in the dark. And there we are. The lighted marquee, of course, being one of the major features of this. Really cool. And I have still not seen that on any of the other brand tiny arcades, which are even much bigger than this. It does have a sleep mode, so you don't wear out the batteries. Looks like it's time to play it. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, or I will go Skynet on your butt. Rob was not good at burger time, even under the best of situations. Combining a one and a half inch screen with a three foot distance and looking through the camera, was a recipe for complete and utter disaster. Yeah, this is gonna be rough.
I'm gonna apologize for my gameplay right away. Come on. No! Ah. Uh. I was rocking it there for a minute. By my standards. Which are pretty admittedly low. Ah. Uh, really? I'll accept one burger. Seriously? My luck. Run! They're so freaking fast. I mean... Well, I got two burgers done. Can I do this? No! Mistakes are made. Had to waste a pepper there. Oh, I'm hosed. Oh, yes. Whew. That is a sense of satisfaction. Of all the tiny handhelds, I had to say, this is the most brutal of them all. Just brutal. I was kind of hoping that this was going to be the one that they made the game easier on. <laughs> it's just so hard. There we go. Game over. Oh man. I, honestly, I did better than I thought I might. Warning radiation at unsafe levels. So what's the verdict on Tiny Arcade Burger Time by Super Impulse? Well, the construction is good, as is the case with all of them. I think it feels very durable and will hold up to time. The controls work quite well. This game is quite a bit more difficult than the other tiny arcades. I know that in many cases, people have found these tiny arcades to be quite a bit easier than their arcade counterpart. Uh, not in this case. It is really difficult. They are not messing around on this one. If you like your games hard, you're going to like this. And I will say that I enjoy it way more than I enjoy the Switch version of Burger Time. Way rather play this than this. Because uh, it's actually Burger Time. <laughs> Anyway, all in all, yet again, another easy thumbs up for this one. This is one of the better arcade machines. I, it's probably in the top five, I would say. I'm going to have to play through them all again to uh, determine whether it uh, stands up against all of them. But it's really a quite good one. And if you like Burger Time, I don't think you're going to have any complaints with this one. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.